Hello, my name is Batch Gray, and I'm here to give a book report on Star Wars Republic Commando Hard Contact. This book is about a group of four Republic Commandos, Niner, Bai, Anton, and Darman, along with the Jedi Padawan, Itang, who go to the planet Kibura to stop the CIS from creating a clone-killing virus. Now, for all of you out there who are not a big Star Wars fan, let me explain a little more on what's what. The good guys are the Galactic Republic. On the Republic's team is an army of elite clones that are bred for war. Gah, where did I put my blaster now? Jedi are also part of the Republic. They have laser swords known as lightsabers and can control an invisible energy field known as the Force. Ah! The bad guys are the Confederacy of Independent Systems, also known as the CIS. about three quarters of a year after episode two of Star Wars, which is early in the war. Now, while the standard clone trooper is usually used as cannon fodder in battles, there are elite few clones known as Republic Commandos who are sent on special operation missions against the CIS. These Republic Commandos work in a group of four and have a close relationship to each other. They are almost like a family. Niner, could you tell us more about your squad? Thanks, Bat. All four of us Republic Commandos fought and trained in different squads and fought in the Battle of Geonosis, the Battle of Star Wars Episode 2. However, all the other members of our squads died, leaving only Phi, Atten, Darwin, and I, the last survivors of four Republic Commando squads. The Republic then had an amazing idea. Take the four commandos and put them together in one squad called Omega Squad. I am Niner, the squad's leader. Vi, the squad's medic and sniper. Atten, the squad's technology expert. Armin, the squad's heavy weapon specialist. And who's this? I hope the commandos in the book. Could you tell us what happens at the beginning of the book? Certainly. When the Republic found out that the CIS were building a virus that could kill an entire clone army, they sent my master, Cas Fulier, and me to the planet Kilora, where the virus was said to be constructed at. But soon I was separated from my master when he was captured by the CIS. I took shelter at a local farm from the CIS droids and alien mercenaries looking for me. How did Omega Squad get into this Niner? Thinking that both Cast and Etain had been captured or killed, the Republic sent an Omega Squad to investigate. This was the first mission we had ever been on together, so not only would we have to destroy the virus and rescue the Jedi, we would also have to learn to work with each other. Things went bad when the transport we arrived on crash-landed and I was separated from the rest of the group. Later, I teamed up with Etan and I went off to find the rest of my squad. Will Darman and Etan find their squad? Can Omega Squad survive the droids and the mercenaries of the CIS? Will Omega Squad stop the virus in time? I guess you'll have to read the book to find out. All in all, I consider this an amazing book. Whether you are a Star Wars fan or not, it's still a great war story that can be appreciated by anyone. It has a central theme of something impossible for one man is possible for a team, which can be related to many things in life. Thank you for watching, and fly home safely.
Thank <laughs> you.